together in one place by making four different copies. Whatever I tell you, you have to be I'm going to hope you're curious. If you receive this, assume the worst. I was about to say, come find my ass, but that's not gonna regrets. And good luck. Greetings and salivations, my patient patients, and welcome to another day of Gallo Tree Hospital Radio, the station that helps you tune up as you tune in, keeping you entertained and up to date on all the news that gives you fits. I am Robert York, your host, giving a great big Good morning to all my convalescing fans here at Gallo Tree Hospital Radio. Before we begin this morning's musical selection, I am proud to announce the restructuring of Gallo Tree Hospital. It has been brought out by Malls International Division 6, formerly Service Industry Services. The new owners will be changing the structure of the hospital and adding new expansions, as well as providing many new services. You may have noticed the construction already. We want you to stop thinking of Gallo Tree Hospital as a stuffy old hospital where sick people go, and instead as a new, vibrant part of the community, just like a mall, because that's what it is now. It is what we like to call a hospital mall. We're no longer one unified medical provider, but instead have become landlords for individual departments and tenants that will be renting space here at the hospital. Because we're cutting all the departments loose, now the hospital will have multiple different versions of the same department, thus giving you choices as to where you want your procedure done. This is done for your convenience and to provide improved customer service. As we speak, we have not just one, but four different emergency entrances for people to go to. The emergency rooms are encouraged to have rotating sales and discounts for certain types of illnesses so that you can choose what emergency room is right for your budget. Well, technically three. The fourth is part of the new veterinarian wing of the hospital, but I hear that they can be quite liberal as long as you're willing to sign a waiver. We also replace that nasty old gift shop and cafeteria, and instead we're opening up a shopping wing along with a new food court. Reminder to all employees who are still employed with any of the new medical businesses in the Gallo Tree Hospital that you will receive a 10% discount if you use the employee preloaded food card at the food court. But that's not all. We also have the new Mega Farm Drug Store, which not only has all your drug needs cheaper than ever, but also includes a complete supermarket with its own farmer's market selection. Right now, the farmer's market section is full of thistles, but we expect the selection to grow over time. These changes are designed to compensate for the lack of government funding ever since Gallo Tree went fully independent. And now, back to the music. Code Monkey, get up, get coffee. Code Monkey, go to job. Code Monkey, have boring meeting with boring manager Rob. Rob say Code Monkey, very diligent, but his output stink. Next up, Corrections. Yes, there are no Cylons in Doctor Who. It was a joke. I know they are called Cybermen. I saw them for the first time with Tom Baker when they tried to blow up an asteroid of gold with cyber bombs. Please stop calling me. Oh, and for the record, it was quite clear to me that the traitor who was remote controlling the Cybermat managed to get it sometime before he even got on the station. The Doctor walked in on the tail end of this whole plot. Why does everybody think that the Cybermat is a plot hole? I rather like the story. True, the reuse of the Seal of Rassilon is an issue. I'll give you that. But that was a budget concern, not a mistake. Personally, I think of it as a homage that wound up on Blake 7, even though it's quite clear that it was a reused Vogon costume. And now, back to the music. His code not functional or elegant. What do Code Monkey think? Code Monkey think maybe manager want to write goddamn login page himself. Code Monkey. Next up, announcements. Mr. Ayers, on behalf of everybody on the 8th floor, no matter how many times you play it, you are not rocking like a hurricane. Yes, 
here you am rocking like a hurricane, which is what it should say, because am and hurricane do not rhyme, which is a whole other level of annoying when it is heard by everyone around you for the 40th time. Let us not overlook your health and appearance. Not only you not rocking like a hurricane, you are not rocking like a tropical depression. In fact, you know how if you have two walls come together at a 90 degree angle making a cul-de-sac, and if the wind hits it just right, it can cause dead leaves and debris to start swirling around? That is much cooler than you can ever hope to be. Swirling dead leaves in the corner of a parking lot, up against an abandoned warehouse, that leaves the taste of copper in your mouth if you linger nearby too long, is a far higher level of rocking than you could ever hope to achieve. Now, you have paid for an entire suite, so you do have the right to keep playing the same song over and over and over and over, if you wish. But I would be remiss if I failed to mention that Mitten the Kitten likes it quiet. Just saying. And now, back to the music. Up next, hospital news. As part of our new rollout, you can get a discount on your medical bill if you happen to need a cast or other highly visible medical prosthesis and are willing to allow it to be used as advertising space. Discount is on a sliding scale based on the total exposed surface area. In addition, a lucrative fee can be yours if you happen to be crippled enough to actually need a wheelchair. You just need to allow your wheelchair to be completely repainted with the colors and decals of the business that wants to advertise. Make sure that when people use your promo code that they actually use the slash dot pound sign when buying the good or service advertised. Listen to this testimonial. I used to have a dead-end job as a brain surgeon, but now I'm earning really big money just by rolling my wheelchair around Gallo Tree. By encouraging people to dial phone sex services, my dream of getting a new kidney is now going to become a reality. Thanks, Gallo Tree Hospimal. Truly inspiring. And now, back to the music. Up next, correction. It's Vogans, not Vogons. Vogans are xenophobic humanoids that dwell within Voga, an asteroid made out of gold and part of the Doctor Who universe. Vogons are soulless alien bureaucrats that write extremely bad poetry and blow up the Earth several times throughout the inaccurately named Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy Trilogy. Again, please stop calling me. And now, Back to the music. Up next, today's sponsor. Oh, hey, buddy. Want some crisps? No, I got a can of Pringles. You know their new slogan. You don't just eat them. Uh, Rico? What What are you doing? You heard the slogan. <sighs> you don't just eat them. Why? Why are you doing that? I'm, I'm standing right here. Come on, Robert. They're Pringles. You don't. Just eat them. My eyes! Oh dear lord in heaven, there isn't enough whiskey in the world to wash this image from my mind! Tyrell's hand-cooked English crisps. The only thing our crisps are made for is eating. And now, back to the music. Buy you soda, bring you cup, bring you ice. You say no thank you for the soda, cause soda make you fat. Up next, announcements. We have a missing bucket of nematodes. They are in a sex-crazed state, and everyone should avoid contact with said bucket. 
It is the property of the new research wing of the hospital. The research wing would very much like their bucket of sex-crazed nematodes back as soon as possible, and they would prefer if it was uncontaminated. So if you should be wandering about the hospital and come across a bucket that is emanating vocalizations that are described as a cross between something unholy squirming about with something blasphemous, and how one might imagine making love to Margaret Thatcher's pickled corpse must sound, then chances are you are close to the bucket. First, do not touch the bucket. Simply maintain a distance of no less than five meters from the bucket at all times. If this prevents you from getting past the bucket, retreat to the maximum possible distance and remain calm. And still, avoid emanating heat, sound, or odor if at all possible. Second, if you are wearing lycra, forget what I just said and run. I suggest the nearest window if there are no other options. Third, dial 110 on any hospital phone and the operator will know exactly what to do. Finally, if you should notice fluctuation in any nearby liquids, we would like to extend to you the opportunity to participate in our Human Test Subject Medical Program. It is a wonderful opportunity that pays room, board, free clothing, and 10 pounds per day. And now, back to the music. Anyway, you busy with the telephone, no time for chat. Could Monkey have long walk back to Cubicle? He sit down, pretend to work. Could Monkey not thinking? Up next, weather forecast. Today will be high of 12 with a low of 10 on the overnight. The day will be clear, with a cold front moving through, producing moderate wind gusts from the south southeast. The evening will start with a sudden downpour, then turn into a steady drizzle that never seems to end. Those of you who are plagued with sleepless nights will find yourselves staring out into the cold. You will find no matter how tight you pull your coat, you will not get any warmer. Your thoughts will turn to the one who lies there, maintained by machines that sustain life but cannot sustain living. They lie before you, but the person you knew is gone. Check out was several weeks ago, but never picked up the car. You wait in the lobby, not quite ready to call a tow truck. The wind will pick up. The howling will grow louder. As it does, you too will wish to howl. We are all madmen howling in the dark. The question isn't who howled loudest, or who howled longest, or even if you howled at all. The question you ask is, how do I continue without this one particular howl? When the voice is lost, will the chorus ever be the same? And if the situation was reversed, would they wish to hear your howl again? If they had the ability, would they tell you to go out and howl for them? This might be true. But the fact is, you are not ready. Your throat is dry, and you doubt your thirst will ever be quenched again. Your voice cracks. Your head is too heavy to lift in defiance of the uncaring void. But do not fret. The wind howls on your behalf tonight. The rain will break with the rising sun. Expect dry weather for the next three days. And now, back to the music. So straight, go monkey not feeling. So great, go monkey like Fritos. Go monkey like Tab and Mountain Dew. Next up, corrections. I didn't call the books inaccurate. I called it being called a trilogy inaccurate. Those are Douglas Adams' words, not mine, you rabid little troll. He wrote five books. Trilogy means three, not five. Yes, I know Colfer wrote a six, but I refuse to read it. Hashtag, not my hitchhiker. Stop calling me, or so help me. Next time, I will reroute you to the customer service complaint line. And now, back to the music. Good monkey, very simple man. Big, warm, fuzzy, secret heart. Good monkey like you. 
Up next, making the rounds. People have been asking why Mitten the Kitten is called Mitten, singular, and not Mittens, plural. Normally the reason a cat is called Mittens is because he has black fur with white paws. Sometimes they come with a white chest, and that you would call a tuxedo. Mitten the Kitten is all black, but only has one white mitten, just like Michael Jackson. Also like Michael Jackson, they both love children. Unlike Michael Jackson, Mitten the Kitten won't die no matter how many sedatives you pump into him. You see, once Mitten the Kitten was completely black. But Mitten was a curious kitten. His curiosity took him to strange, far-off lands, to ethnic neighborhood curio shops that sell trinkets and knowledge to both the profane and the unwary. It was there among soot-covered tomes and petrified animal carcasses, broken down and reformed like some sort of demonic Lego set, that Mitten the Kitten discovered the grimoire. The owner of the shop was all too happy to part with that bit of eldritch lore. He muttered a vaguely prophetic warning, then refused to bargain. Instead, he accepted whatever was offered for the Liberium and shooed Mitten out of his store. Mitten the Kitten studied the Folio's teachings and learned things not intended for mortal minds, much less that of a kitten. One particular thing he learned was of the pool. This particular pool was stagnant and still, regardless of weather or wind. No amount of precipitation could disturb its glassy surface, even in the most torrential of rainstorms. Mitten learned of the alignment and the means to calculate when the next one would occur. There, at the brackish water's edge, he sat back on his hind paws. Mitten the kitten had undergone purification. He had abstained from consuming forbidden flesh. At the time of the alignment, the waters churned, the depths stir, lines became curved. Mitten the kitten thrust his left paw deep into the brine. A battle of wills had begun. When Mitten the kitten withdrew his appendage, it was withered and aged. Any submerged fur was forevermore a ghastly and unnatural white. And that's why we call him Mitten the Kitten, because of his cute, single white paw. And now, back to the music. Up next, announcements. With the closing of the hospital cafeteria and the opening of the food court, the old cafeteria is having a sale of all remaining food stock. Everything must go, which is how the cafeteria staff discovered a large supply of frozen giraffe meat. While it is difficult to determine the origin of the giraffe meat, it is in excellent condition and available today only at the amazing price of 70% off. So head on down and enjoy some tasty cheap meat available only at the Gallotree Hospital Cafeteria. And now, back to the music. Cold monkey have every reason to get out this place. Cold monkey just keep on working. See your soft pretty face. Up next, Q&A. We wish to answer a few questions we have received. Yes, the new ad space based program is available to anyone who has some sort of exposed surface we can put advertising on. The program is signed up for in two week intervals, so you have to remain ill for at least two weeks at a time. We are willing to work with you on this part. However, you will get a deeper discount if you sign up for more time at the onset, up to three months. No, you do not get a choice of what product is advertised. It is in the order that the ad space request is received. You are not allowed to trade off. So, yes, Mr. Blythe, you will have to deal with the erectile dysfunction medication ad on your hip and pelvis body cast for at least an additional three months. And now, back to the music. 
Much rather awake, I beat a coffee cake, take bath, take nap. This job fulfilling in creative way, such a load of crap. Code Monkey thinks someday he have everything, even pretty girl like you. Code Monkey just waiting for now. Code Monkey. Up next, Memoriam. We regret to announce the passing of Hob Mason. Mr. Mason suffered from a fatal case of adult onset sudden infant death syndrome while at a corporate conference being held at the Hotel Lazarus. He was pronounced dead on the scene. And now, back to the music. Up next, announcements. I'm afraid that the new Hospimal customer service complaint line is down for maintenance. We wish to apologize to those customers who received an earful of screaming hot winds that carried the scent of charnel houses. We fully understand the irony of the operator transferring you to the customer service complaint line when you call the main line to complain about scorched hair, blistered skin, and or partial deafness. We regret any inconvenience this may cause you and promise to get the customer service complaint line up and running as soon as is humanly possible. And now, back to the music. Well, that brings us to the end of my shift. It's been another fun-filled morning working here at Gallo Tree Hospa Mall Radio. Before I go, just a reminder to everyone, one week from today, you can meet Maximus Hardvark, scientific adventurer. He'll be here to sign autographs and hand out toys to all the young ones in the children's ward. So if any of you kids want to meet Maximus Hardvark, scientific adventurer, be sure to get sick enough to go to the hospital by this time next week. Stay tuned for an endless parade of infomercials about products you didn't know you absolutely needed to have. This has been a fan imitation of Gallo Tree Radio. Gallo Tree Radio is owned wholly and in part by Adam Hardvark and Max Black. I have driven them from our shores. In foreign lands surrounded by infidels, they gather their strength and wait for the moment to strike. Go to their website and give them some money. Insurrections aren't cheap. The mix was Code Monkey by Jonathan Colton. The background music came with my computer or is free use from Google Play. The writer, voice work, and other sundry parts were done by me. Bob.